We're back outside here with our turkey tail blocks. Uh, this is our indoor monotub grow that we've had going. And this is the fourth flush. These blocks are finally done. I'm going to pick them off one last time here. And I want to weigh, weigh the mushrooms, see what we get with the fourth flush. And also get a final block weight before we move these blocks to the compost pile. Because uh, these turkey tail uh, mushrooms are super efficient at breaking down the sawdust and converting it into mushroom weight and CO2, a lot of CO2. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit, but I'll get picking off the mushrooms here and we'll see what we get. These are actually still cropping really well from our slits. Um, we did end up losing one block. Uh, we're down to three here now. We lost one block to black mold contamination. After the third flush, we still did get three flushes off of that one. So we ended up with three and seven eighths ounces, almost four ounces off the fourth flush. So not a lot, obviously, as the flushes go along, uh, the uh, the weight really tails off. I didn't total up uh, what, I, what I got for each block over the course of the, the four fruitings, but I should have. I'll definitely do that next time so I can get an overall uh, efficiency. But uh, so we got four ounces of nice turkey tail here. I mean, it's beautiful stuff though. Still looking nice, really nicely formed, nice banding. So I'm really happy with the way that turned out. Again, this is mycelium emporium strain, wild strain. And uh, let's weigh a block here just to see where we're at. Now these blocks started out around six pounds and uh, we're down to about two pounds, eight ounces total for a block. So this block has lost three and a half pounds and that's mushroom weight and also a ton of CO2. And that was one thing I wanted to mention in this video is if you are growing plants indoors, they there's a lot of plants that really benefit from co2 and growing these mushrooms on these sawdust blocks are a great way to uh, get some natural co2 production to help your plants out and uh, also you're going to get some mushrooms and you can tailor uh, what mushroom you grow based on what temperature you're growing your plants at you know if you're growing plants really warm at around uh, 80 degrees uh, you might want to go with a warm weather oyster strain but uh, you know if you're down around 60 uh, 55 to 65 degrees uh, you could grow these turkey tail and these are some co2 generating machines it's a byproduct of the mycelium digesting the wood so that's pretty cool two pounds eight ounces so this thing lost three and a half pounds each one of these blocks over four flushes so we're gonna throw these in the compost pile and that is the end of this grow if you want to see how we made these blocks uh, you can go back and um, check out our first turkey till video and also our uh, pasteurized fuel pellet tech video so that's it for this grow we're gonna compost them and we're out